Hey everybody and welcome to Let's Look At Gods Will Be Watching. Uh, this is a game where, I've played this a few times on stream and, you know, uh, Kate's played it on her stream. And people are always asking, like, D didn't you cover this? Didn't you cover this? And yes, Gods Will Be Watching has an interesting backstory behind it. It was uh, part of a game jam last April, May, I think, sometime in the spring or early summer, uh, from a uh, Spanish team known as De Deconstruct Team. And basically, it was this scene that you see right here, and you had, like, been exiled to this ice alien planet, and you were trying to keep everybody's morale up, and you were trying to keep them all full, and, you know, you know, balance actions and stuff like that. And it was this really neat kind of, like, juggling management type thing, uh, strategy, puzzle game, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that I really liked, and I think a lot of people who played the, that version of the game really liked it. It got picked up for a, uh, a full release and is now being published by Devolver Digital, coming out a little bit later this month. Uh, a couple of weeks from now, and uh, it's $10, $9 uh, for its pre-order price, which is actually, at this point, I think $15 is kind of considered like the standard price for big-time, you know, somewhat notable indie releases like this. So when I saw that it was 10 bucks, I was like, that is a dynamite price for a game that uh, I find really, really intriguing and, and really, really interesting. Uh, and... I, I enjoy playing Gods Will Be Watching, I really like playing it, and especially on like an intellectual level, I have to say, like, you know, pick this up if you like what you see, it's it's a whole lot of fun. So, um, the way that the game is basically broken up here is that there's, uh, I'm gonna go to like a select, there we go, chapter selection, and we're gonna play chapter one. Um, it's, it's broken up into a series of, of chapters, and uh, I've only unlocked the second chapter, and I haven't actually beaten the second chapter yet, but just beating the first chapter alone took me, um, you know, maybe an hour to, to figure out how to actually get it to happen, uh, and, uh, there's several chapters throughout the game, and I've beaten chapter one subsequent times since then. But we're going to do chapter one to avoid uh, spoiling things. There's a couple of different difficulty modes. Uh, there's original. You will lose on original. Uh, you'll lose a lot, and that's because they don't really explain the mechanics of the puzzles. You kind of have to figure it out for yourself as you go along. You can also play on easy if you just want to get the story, and there actually is like a surprising, um, a surprisingly deep story that goes on here. So... Uh, I'll, I'll do the talking here, but I did skip a lot of the story. You chose the wrong company to mess with. We got company. Let's give it a moment here. The hacking system is ready. Liam, the hostages are secured. Please don't hurt my crew. We don't have any access codes. Good work, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention for a minute? This is a Xenolifer act. You are being held as our guest while we get the information we need about your outstanding research on the Medusi virus. Seriously, good job on analyzing that little bitch. I don't know if he's saying, like, good job on analyzing that little bitch, or if he's calling the virus a bitch. I don't know. This is Jesse Pinkman, basically. Liam Pinkman, his, his long, distant descendant. The revolution will greatly benefit from your contribution to the scientific community. Now, let my guys do their work and nothing will happen to you. Jack, don't let those damn guards near us. I got him, boss. Shaman, keep the network stable while I hack into their database. Also, I'm looking to you. I'm looking forward to the power of your new, improved hack boost tool. They won't see me coming. I. This is a pretty serious and dark game. I'm trying to bring some levity to the situation. And you, Abraham, you were in charge while I'm plugged into this thing. Take care of the hostages. Don't let them be too comfortable that they try to overcome you. Neither too panicked that they want to try a suicidal escape. I'm counting on you to lead the team in their tasks. Aid Jack in his negotiation and lend a hand to Shaman. Checking the net status. Basically keep the situation under control until my hacking reaches 100% and the mission will be complete. Alright. So, he's gonna sit down. So this is... I, I've never played a, a, an adventure game, and it's not really an adventure game, it just kind of looks like a point-and-click adventure. Um, but I've, I've never played a, a puzzle game like this before. Basically, what you see right here is our puzzle. It's our system. Our goal is to, you know, get this hacking progress bar up to 100%. Every turn that ticks by, that hacking progress bar will go up a little bit. We can make it go up faster by trying to execute a hack boost. Right now we have a 9% chance of success, but we can take turns, because this is turn-based, um, to improve our chances of success and then execute it, and it'll give us like 20% or 25% when it goes off. Now, we have a number of things to balance at the same time. Let me uh, take Shaman here, and we'll uh, hack the camera so you can see the corridor. If, if an action is green, it doesn't take one of your turns. Uh, so every turn that you take... You've got things that are working against you as well. These uh, enemies out here that you can see in the camera right now will slowly start moving towards the uh, towards the room that we're in. I apologize if the music is a little low, by the way. Uh, I might have turned it down a little bit too much in advance of the stream uh, that I did earlier, but anyway. Uh, these guys will uh, advance towards the room that I'm in right now, and if they get too close, they'll flashbang us and we lose the mission automatically. Also, um, our security will go down. So they have like a counter hacker who is gonna make the security tick down, and that basically represents the percentage chance that they'll stop our hack um, on an individual turn. 
on any indiv each individual turn, I should say. So when they stop our hack, we can get it back, but it does take us an action. Um, we can push the uh, attackers back by using some uh, skills with Jack here. But the main thing that we have to actually manage is our hostages. So. Um, they, they have kind of a spectrum of emotions from panic to calm. If they're too calm, they'll try to escape. If they're uh, too panicked, they'll try to escape. So we have to kind of keep them towing the line. So our goal is basically just to balance these as much as we possibly can uh, in order to actually complete this mission and get this bar up here. So basically we just stall for time. It's like trying to juggle too many balls, right? Like you can keep them going for a while, but eventually some of them are going to fall. You just got to hope that, you know, you, you've made it far enough. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, you know, red actions mean they take a turn, and you can see how people react to that. Um, green actions don't take a turn, so we could talk to them and learn a little bit more about the story. But we're going to negotiate. So when we negotiate, Jack says, don't you dare make another step or people will start dying here. And they say, okay, take it easy, we won't make another step. This means that the guards take it easy for a turn. But our security went down, but our hacking progress went up a little bit. So I'm going to charge our hack boost. They won't move for a little while, which is good. Uh, and in charging this hack boost, you know, how do people look? They look pretty good right now. They still look relatively, uh, relatively calm. Maybe this gentleman over here is getting a little bit anxious, but that's okay. I have tactics for dealing with, uh, for dealing with the hostages. We're gonna charge our hack boost again. Alright, so we're up to, uh, 32%. I don't really want to use 32% because if we get it wrong, our security is busted. So, um, you know, some people here don't seem particularly, uh, you know, calm so I'm gonna calm down this hostage by chatting to them and they've gotten a little too calm now but this is okay so you again you want to keep them kind of balanced one leg out is like I'm a little calm but I'm not gonna try to kill you two legs out is they're gonna try to kill us so I'm gonna charge hack boost once more okay good and then we're gonna reinforce security take us back to a hundred percent they've got two legs out now which is a little bit problematic because it means they could start to run but I'm going to take one more turn and negotiate here, and just leave them sitting there. And there you go. So the, the hostages do have tells as well. So this guy said, he's distracted, let's run. What we can do, there's a couple of different ways we could handle this. We could shout at him. If we shout at him, it'll make him and the other hostages a little bit less calm. But if we really want to make them less calm, what we can do is come over here and shoot him. Just shoot him in the leg. And this will make all of the hostages a little bit more uh, tense, right? So they're not nearly as calm anymore. Uh, and this guy will bleed out for a couple of turns, which is bad, obviously. Um, if he dies, like, we can't use him as leverage. But right now, with one leg broken, he can't escape. So I'm going to charge our hack boost again. Now, um, I'm going to charge it even one more time. People are getting uh, very nervous, as you can see. Uh, so I'm going to take this opportunity to talk to the leader. And the leader has kind of like an area of effect thing uh, more... Uh, powerfully, I guess. So when you talk to him, uh, it, it dispels... If you calm him down, it calms down everybody in the group, basically. So the guy in the, the suit jacket here. So I'm going to calm him down. And then everybody kind of relaxes a little bit, which is great. Um, and we actually want people to be super relaxed. But one second, let's reinforce our security. Uh, we want people to be very relaxed, because we're going to do an attack here. And attacking basically just fires some warning shots at the, uh, the guards, which will get them to move backwards. And um, as they have moved backwards here... Um, you know, people have gotten more and more stressed out. So I'm going to take a turn to calm this person down. They're more or less fine. I'm going to take a turn to use some medicine to cure this, uh, you know, young gentleman's leg injury here. And then everybody's going to be more or less okay uh, for now. And we're going to negotiate again. Um, admittedly, people are getting a little concerned. Let's, let's calm everybody down a little bit. There we go. They seem relatively good now. I'm going to take a turn to reinforce security. I think I negotiated... Did I negotiate recently? Let's negotiate again. Good. Uh, people are a little bit too relaxed, but I think this is a perfect opportunity for me to try to charge a hack boost. I'm going to have to shoot this person in the leg again. This is my strategy. There's multiple strategies that actually work. But whenever somebody tries to escape, it really just feels like you should shoot them in the leg. Um, so, this, this gentleman right here is going to run. What we could do instead of getting him to run is uh, send him to the break room, or we could trade him, and we can actually trade for a number of different things. We can trade for more medicine, in case I want to continually shoot people in the legs and then heal them, because if they die, they, we lose leverage, right? Uh, or I could uh, ask the guards to move backwards, or I could ask them for net security, so they won't try to counterhack me for a while. Um, but for now, I'm just going to send him to the break room. Um... And, and he'll calm down after spending some time in the, in the break room. And we can change our camera for free without using an action to, to look at uh, the break room. Alright, so let's try to execute our hack boost here. We're about, yeah maybe 20% of the way done. Initiating hack boost sequence. Are you ready, Liam? Go for it. 
Stabilizing network paths, open the synaptic drivers, checked and ready, hack boost ready for launch, begin the countdown. Three, two, one. Our execution was actually proper there, it worked. So we got uh, another, yeah, we basically doubled our percentages there. It's probably 20%, not 25. Um, so we're all, we're approaching the halfway point. So people are looking uh, a little bit stressed out. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, take a turn to negotiate. Oh shit, they reinforced security. Or, sorry, they got us, so we have to reinforce security. And we lost a little progress there as well. Um, everybody else is looking pretty calm. Um, but instead of walking, let's just change our camera here. Um, hack camera, look at the break room. How's our dude doing in the break room? Still very, very stressed out. Um, we may try to get him to, uh, like, we could trade him for some net stability at some point. We could walk over to the break room and see him as well, but, uh... Can we click on him on the camera and send? I don't think we can. Okay, so let's hack the camera and go back to our, our corridor here. So far, so good, you know. We, no real problems, I guess. We're gonna have to attack soon. So my suggestion is maybe we uh, we take a turn and we, we try to calm people down. Good. And then we uh, take a turn and we cure. And people should get a little bit more calm as a result of that. And uh, then we can maybe attack. And they, they'll lose their calm but they're not going to be too bad. So now I can talk to this person and calm them down. Like, the the real... I don't want to say bitch, but the real problem here is hostage management. It's not actually, like, dealing with the people who are trying to uh, get to you. It, it's, it's managing these hostages so that they don't totally freak out. So we're going to charge the hack boost here. Our database is too strong. God damn it. They, they got through with a very low percentage chance. Alright, so as you see, uh, these people are getting a little bit too relaxed. Um, we should probably shout at them pretty soon, but let's, um, hack the camera and go back to our, uh, corridor here so we can see where they are. Alright, so I'm gonna negotiate. And, uh, then we're gonna, we're gonna shout at this guy. We're gonna say, like, Oi, what you doing there? Don't do that. And similarly, we're gonna shout at, uh, this lady here as well. Good, so they're gonna get a little bit less relaxed. Alright. Take a quick look at our uh, break room. You know, it's a game you have to have patience for. It's very deliberate, and you can fuck it up and have to go through it all again. And and it's fun. It's it's like, it's really annoying when you lose, obviously, because you're like, oh man, like I was so close and I spent so much time. But uh, it, it's also if you just like if you got to a halfway point and it gave you a checkpoint, it wouldn't feel nearly as satisfying. I think it is hard. You're gonna you're gonna lose multiple times, and and sometimes you lose half an hour in. Um, that's that's just part of the rub of the game. Alright, so I'm gonna uh, charge hack boost. Good. I'm gonna reinforce security. Good. Okay, these guards are moving closer. They're very close, in fact, but these people are too calm. So I'm actually gonna attack. And then I'll move them back. And then I'm gonna calm this person down so they don't run. Sometimes they can run. And then we're gonna negotiate so the guards don't move forward. Good, good, good. Okay, everyone's relaxed a little bit. Again, you gotta balance everything. Don't give anything, you know, if you charge the hack boost too much, everything's gonna fall out. You gotta give equal attention to all the balls. That was a juggling reference, not anything to do with anything else. Okay, this guy is obviously far too relaxed at this point. Let's let's go find this gentleman. He's just living it up here. Also, uh, you know, neat kind of Devolver Digital-esque reference here. There's a Luftrauser's logo on this whiskey bottle here. Alright, so this hostage has got to get back. So the break room is something you can use to, um... You know, make it so that uh, hostages who are, like, really at the end of their psychological rope are, are, you know, calmed down a little bit. He's obviously too calm right now. Um, let's hack camera. And we want to look at the corridor. They're not too close. Uh, and we're gonna... We're just gonna shout at him a little bit. Oh, man. That put one of our hostages out of balance. Okay. Reinforce security. This person's gonna run, I think. Oh, man. Okay. Too many people are trying to run now. So here's what I'm thinking. What do we have? The the person on the far left is too stressed or too panicked, and our leader is too uh, calm. I think if I shoot the person who's too panicked, our uh, our bald you know me in 20 years is not going to run. So I think we're going to shoot this person in the leg again, and then this guy's going to get too freaked out to run because he's going to be like, "Well, I don't want to get shot in the leg." There you go. All right. So now we're going to have to either let this hostage die. Or we're going to have to trade them, trade some hostage for more medicine to heal them up. Let's negotiate to make sure they don't move forward any. Um, and I'm going to charge the hack boost once. And the hostages seem okay. Um, yeah, they, they seem basically like on the level right now. But I'm going to try to calm them down a little bit. 
Uh, just so that I can do an attack in a second and they won't get too stressed out, you know? So let's do an, uh, we should reinforce security. I like reinforcing at about 100%. Or, sorry, about 50%. Alright, so the guards have moved forward a little bit. It's time for us to do another attack. We have to push them back. Or we could trade a hostage, uh, for the guards moving back. I've never done that before. I really like to shoot them in the leg, do the medicine trick, but, um, you can't trade a wounded hostage, by the way. So, are we gonna let them die? Or are we gonna, uh, we're gonna do a hostage trade? Well, first things first, I think we should attack, push them back. Um, we've got to tell this this gentleman here to uh, calm down. Good. Um, then I, th well, we shouldn't have told him to calm down if we were just going to trade him. Then I think we're gonna we're gonna trade um, we're gonna trade somebody who's been a problem for us. Literally, bald man has been a huge problem. So let's trade him for some more medicine. All right, so he's gonna run. And now we get two more med kits, so we can actually heal um, our unit here. And you know, the less hostages you have, I think the faster the enemies actually move towards you, but also um, the uh, the easier it is to manage, as you might expect. So let's negotiate. Good. We'll reinforce security. And we're a little bit past halfway. I, uh, I apologize, but this is like, the standard thing I say is like, if I don't talk a lot about how I like a game, I generally like it a lot. I'm just too distracted by the actual strategy of playing it. So this is a let, let's look at, not a let's play or anything like that. So I'm supposed to be offering like critical feedback, but I just really, really like the game and I get into it and you have to be into it in order to actually manage all the shit that's happening on the fly. Um, we can take a turn to charge our hack boost. The problem is if you have two things that are bad at the same time, you have to make a compromise, right? I think we can even charge our hack boost again. And people are still pretty balanced, I'd say. 56% chance. Let's charge it one more time. And then we have to, these guys are going to get really close. So I'm going to say, hey, calm down. Oh shit, they broke in. Okay, we have to take a turn to attack, unfortunately, and push them backwards. And we have to reinforce security, but this guy's going to run. So we're going to lose some hacking progress if I if I don't handle this. Okay, this is uh, unfortunate. Reinforce security. Yeah, we lost, we lost a lot there, actually. Um, okay, take a turn. She's a little bit too calm, honestly. Take a turn, negotiate. Okay. They want me to run. I'm gonna shout you down. Or sorry, she wants to run. I'm gonna shout you down. Okay, so she's not super calm anymore. We're gonna execute our hack boost. Come on, please work. The problem with the hack boost is if it doesn't work, then you have to take waste a turn reinforcing security. And also you lose some of your hack boost uh, success rate. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, reinforce security. So we lost some progress there as well. So this guy says he needs to run. We can either calm him down or we could shoot him. I'm just going to calm him down because we're starting to run out of medicine a little bit. Um, and honestly, I think we have to attack them back again. She's not going to run. She's way too relaxed. Let's shout her down. There we go. Uh, you're going to run too? Ah, shit. Okay. We're going to free him. That'll calm her down a little bit. Okay. So now we've only got two hostages left. We only need to have one hostage left to succeed. But, um, this, this is how things, you know, slip out of control. Let's take, let's be cautious. Reinforce security. Um, I'm gonna shout you down. Good. And then we're gonna charge our hack boost. You don't need to run, okay? I, how many times do I have to shoot this same hostage in the leg? Okay. I have used all of my medicine, and this also helps make this, uh, you know, red-haired lady a little bit less calm in her surroundings, which is important for me because I don't want her to try to escape. All right, we're gonna execute our hack boost. Come on, three, two, one. Okay, that one actually worked. We're about 75, 80% of the way done. Negotiate again. Good. St Wait, did I not click it? Negotiate. Oh my God, they broke into our security again. Okay, reinforce security. Good. Um, charge hack boost. Excellent. I would say, uh, charge hack boost again. Good. Everyone's looking all right. I mean, maybe less so the person who was shot in the leg. There's a charge hack boost. Oh, this... Oh, no, they bled out! I really thought they had one more turn to go. Okay. Be cool. So the guards are going to be way more aggressive now. But we only have one hostage to manage. So we'll attack. We've got to pay very close attention to this hostage, but we can still do this. All right, we can still shoot her in the leg if we want to, and then just heal her up. Uh, reinforce security. 
Good. She's she's not looking so hot right now. Um, take a turn, negotiate. She looks stressed. I'm going to say calm down. Good. Then we're going to take a turn. We're going to charge our hack boost. One more successful hack boost will probably take us where we need to go. Good. I would say even take a turn now, reinforce security. We just want to be 100% sure. No, you don't need to run. Did you see how far these motherfuckers moved on this one turn? We have to calm her down. Okay. Oh my god, they're so close. Then we have to attack to send them backwards. And then I almost think we have to shoot this lady in the leg. Otherwise, she's going to get away. And we can cure her. We have more medicine. Look, I'm not the best hostage taker of all time, okay? I... I maybe don't, uh, I, I don't handle things in the way that, that would be nice. But it's got to be done. Charge hack boost. Just don't let her die and we should be fine. Charge hack boost. Good. 76% chance. This should be a three quarters chance to win the mission. So let's try it. Here we go. Three, two, one. We did it. Okay, I got the, I got the data. Good work, guys. Yes. All right. You'll never leave this place alive. So we actually did succeed there. It's really funny. I'm just going to skip over the story stuff here. The story is really interesting. It's really good. Um, but uh, I mean, I'm going to skip over it because you don't necessarily need to see it. Um, and, you know, I don't want to spoil anything as well. It's really funny. You know, I've beaten the mission a couple of times. That's pretty much how I do it. Uh, Kate, I watched her beat the mission last night. She freed one hostage, like traded them for something. I think it was um, like have the guards move backwards. Uh, but all the other hostages, like she spent all of her time just managing the hostage emotions, never doing hack boost. And it took a lot longer, but she was successful in way less tries. So there's way, like, there's multiple different ways that you can choose to play the game. You can, you know, apparently my attitude has been soft. Shooting them all in the leg multiple times is soft. But, um, yeah, you, you can choose to shoot them in the leg so they can't run away. Or you can just, you know, be friends with them and, you know, make sure you're balancing the guards but not worry about the hack boost so much. So, you know, you get a cool kind of stat screen at the end here. I killed one hostage. Um, puts me, you know, almost in the, the average there. Most people didn't kill any. Um, I killed them by accident, to be fair. Uh, I freed one hostage. Um, most people didn't free any. I demanded medicine. Most people demanded other stuff. Um, you know, I had one person try to escape. I didn't fight with Jack. That's a terrible option. Uh, sometimes when you have Jack attack, he's like, I can't fucking do it, man. I can't do it. And then, you know, you lose a turn trying to get his psyche back and the enemies just swarm you because you typically only attack when they get really close anyway I, my attitude has been soft I don't know why you have to do to be aggressive but in any case uh, this is uh, this is gods will be watching sorry gods have been watching or no it's gods will be watching I was right the first time I shouldn't have looked at the top of the screen uh, it's it's really really cool I might cover more of the game as it gets a little bit closer to release but um, I don't want to spoil it because once you kind of suss out how to solve the puzzles you can do it over and over like since I've figured out how to like, a strategy that works for beating that first mission, I haven't lost on it um, since, even though sometimes I got close. This might be the closest I've come to losing on it, actually. But, uh, yeah, uh, I would I would definitely suggest picking it up when it comes out. I know a lot of people are against pre-ordering games, and I can totally understand that. But um, this, is, this is really, really fucking good. Uh, and I think easily has the potential to be one of the coolest games that comes out this year. And it comes out really soon, so it's not like a whole lot is going to change before release, I think. So, yeah, uh, 9 bucks in its uh, pre-order price on Steam. 10 bucks uh, overall when it actually comes out. Keep an eye out for this one when the uh, release window comes upon us here, because Gods Will Be Watching is uh, really, really neat, really engaging, and uh, very unique compared to uh, pretty much anything I've ever played before. Uh, a really stellar release. In any case... Thanks for watching. If you want to pick up the game on Steam, there will be a link in the video description below. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, click the like button. It helps me out a great deal. If you want to see more Let's Look Ats or Gods will be watching in the future, click the subscribe button. And, uh, you know, those new videos will be delivered to you right away. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.